an Inside Edition hidden camera investigation. You need to treat these people like you're talking to a child. Are they really teaching insurance agents to take advantage of the elderly? It is a classic bait and switch. Inside Edition, America's investigative news magazine, will be right back. Buying insurance can be confusing for any of us, but the elderly are especially vulnerable to agents who use high pressure and scare tactics to gain access to their life savings. Our investigative team went undercover at a giant insurance company to see just how they train their agents. Matt Mahar has our hidden camera report. You need them all those tears. Okay? You need them almost in tears. You actually got to put them in the nursing home. You need to treat these people like you're talking to a child. These men are teaching new insurance okay. salespeople of the tricks of the trade. But what they don't know is this Inside Edition producer is in the classroom with a hidden camera. I'm serious. You're laughing. Make her almost cry. They're training these people for their new jobs as agents for Bankers Life and Casualty a giant 100-year-old insurance company based in Chicago. Every day, the company and its agents reach out to thousands of senior citizens across the country. I was following up in regards to the Medicare. Offering to sell them insurance that would enhance Medicare, the government-provided health insurance for senior citizens. It's through the centers of Medicare and Medicaid. That's exactly why 81-year-old Rose Hosford says she let a banker's life and casualty agent into her Northern California home last year. But she says once he was inside, he didn't mention Medicare ever. Instead, convincing her to put nearly $75,000 her late husband had left her to live on into a banker's life and casualty account. She can't withdraw without paying huge penalties until the year 2019. If Rose lives that long, a foolish investment for her that paid a big commission to the agent and the company. I had made a terrible, terrible mistake. If you can just focus on getting in the house on Medicare, all the other stuff will happen just because you're sitting in front of them. A regional director for the company, Bill Baylock, is coaching a training class in Charlotte, North Carolina. He teaches the students how to spot a live one. Some prospects, they just have a sound, you know, where you know that this is going to be a good house. There's a sound of wealthy people, sick people, uneducated people. He also teaches them to play on what the elderly fear the most, confinement to a nursing home. Is that you actually got to put them in the nursing home during the presentation. I know that you don't want to talk about your son changing your diaper or your daughter feeding you or somebody else sponge bath, giving you a sponge bath, any more than I do. This agent, Marvin Davis, also trained his new colleagues how to target the elderly. How many people watch nature shows? And you watch, and you watch how the big cats track their prey, and that's what you're doing. You're stalking, okay? Or you see the buzzers up in the sky, they're circling. You're trying to open that worry box. You're trying to get them, you, you need them almost in tears. Make feel the pain. Tears? Worry box? Could this guy just be a rogue agent? Well, take a look at this. It's a corporate training document from 2008 that we've obtained. Quote, if you have done your job properly, you have disturbed them by opening their worry box. We push the fear so much that we'd see people, you know, uh, cry in the house. Mike McEwen was an independent agent for Bankers Life and Casualty for more than four years before he was terminated in 2009. He says he was told by management to use all kinds of unethical practices. It's actually encouraged and the more the more kind of con man you are, the higher up the ladder you get. The worst thing, McEwen says, is convincing elderly clients like Rose Hosford to put their savings into an annuity that can tie up their money far beyond their life expectancy. Selling annuities has become so notorious, Davis told his class, don't even say the word. I avoid the word annuity until I need to use it. Okay? I just, I just go over features and benefits and let them tell me that they want it. And then they realize it's an annuity. Two o'clock on Wednesday. We hired this woman who asked that we just call her Mary to make an appointment with Bankers Life and Casualty to discuss buying a Medicare supplemental policy. We set up hidden cameras in this house in Charlotte and observed from another room. With us is consumer advocate Chris Markowski. The agent who shows up is Deshaun Flournoy. 
It doesn't take him long to change the subject from Medicare to that annuity policy. You need to get into a fixed annuity. It is a bait, classic bait and switch. For somebody 73 years of age, is there any annuity that makes sense? No, absolutely not. After a two-hour sales pitch, Mary insists she only wants to buy the Medicare supplemental insurance policy. But listen to what happens when she says her children have her checkbook. You feel comfortable? I can drive you. Drive me where? Or to the bank if you to wanted the Wells to. Wells Fargo? Yeah. We caught up with Deshaun at the bank. Do you feel the least bit slimy driving her to the bank here to get uh, a payment? No, I for the not. Why, you don't, would, I, why you don't. would I do that if she's looking for Medicare coverage and she needs to get Medicare coverage? Why would I feel slimy by doing her a favor? Driving her to the bank. Why wouldn't I? What, what, what's wrong with that? According to trainer Marvin Davis, apparently nothing. He teaches new salespeople the same tactic. What if she's not a cash? Okay, see if she'll let the driver to the bank. Driver to the bank? Yeah, I've talked to you to the bank. Mr. Davis, yeah. my name's Matt Mahar. I'm with Inside Edition. But why would you tell these salespeople to surround the elderly like buzzards? <laughs> Isn't that just taking advantage of the elderly? Oh, boy. I don't know where you're getting this information from. You're the you person that's license? teaching people to go out and defraud the elderly, aren't you? I, I don't know, am I? It sure sounded that so, way. So he then got into his car and drove off. As for Rose Hosford, she says she tried to get her money back, but that banker's life and casualty agent who sat in her home for hours pretending to be her best friend never returned her calls. It caused me an awful lot of sleepless nights. My husband's hard-earned money. Bankers Life and Casualty told us they are conducting an investigation into their sales tactics. They say they believe the problems are limited to one branch office and do not reflect its normal sales and training practices. They also say they do not condone the practices that we found and have taken appropriate action to reinforce the company standards with all of its agents. Based on our findings, the United States Senate Special Committee on Aging is now investigating the company.